Mais vosso consertante. After victory at the combat of the 30th, the French faced devastating raids from England's Black Prince. But France's King John II was closing in. Jean finally caught the English near the city of Poitiers in September 1356. The French army outnumbered the English by thousands. King Jean himself joined the fight, but what seemed a certain victory for France soon turned into a nightmare. The English longbow devastated the mighty French army. An endless hail of arrows gutted the main French force. Then the English captured King Jean. The fight was over. The Battle of Poitiers was another catastrophic defeat for the French. The English had destroyed most of France's nobility in a single day. Now they turned their attention towards taking the French capital, Paris. The invaders marched unopposed towards Paris. The remains of some of the medieval walls of Paris still stand today. As the English army approached, the terrified locals sought shelter behind these defenses. Could France's capital withstand the full might of the Black Prince's army? The English Black Prince had raided the French countryside without mercy. And now, his army had come for the capital. With the English on their doorstep, it fell to the French army and the people of Paris to defend the walls of their proud city. Hoping to avoid open battle, the French began fortifying the city, manning the walls and calling every available soldier to his post. As the French hastened their preparations, several detachments of English soldiers were spotted closing in on the city. The English showed no mercy, 
burning their way to Paris via three routes, each of which was home to villages and farms that supplied the capital. Having struck out at the English front line, the French had slowed the enemy's advance. As the French continued to rally their army, the English took the last of the surrounding villages and had almost encircled Paris. Don't 
numbers when you... Archers, Boise comme le volet. Archers, les commandements viennent. Archers, on la voie. Assessment boss, where are they? With the countryside in flames and the English at the city gates, the French army steeled themselves for battle. Now came the capital's true test. Would the mighty walls of Paris hold against a fearsome English siege? The Parisian guard raised the alarm as the English began their first assault on the city walls. fought valiantly, repelling the first English attack. Besoin à faire, sous son coémine. En besoin. Marchez derrière moi, très tous. Pour vous servir. Tous de y aller, Laurette. Baillez moi, besoin. Je vous amène mes riens. Yes, we 
The French defense of their capital held firm, wearing down the English invaders one by one. Donc de puissante grumine. Je veux sa main de mérite.
enemy grew ever more desperate as their ranks thinned and their hopes of victory faded. Mon arc est prêt 
Ten besoin. À votre commandement. Gefaldi, oil, si toast. Rappareillement en train. Homme fao trail. Advertence de le long. Que faut-il donc besoigner Besoigne à faire hold the city, so long as its mighty landmarks did not fall. Defeated and demoralized by the strength of the French defense, the Black Prince's army abandoned their siege of the capital. Paris celebrated victory, but this was not the last test the French would face in their struggle to win the war. <laughs> 